Hi guys, Nigel here with you again, my ugly mutt yet again. Yes, I got my voice back almost, so look out. Um, I've got a package come today, it arrived this afternoon. Really, really happy that this has come. Uh, this is something that I saw over on the on the Yamato Facebook page. There is a, a Facebook page dedicated to 1200 scale Yamatos, so the Nishimo or the um, Trumpeter. It was just Trumpeter, but now they're allowing the Nishimo in as well. And lots and lots of really good information on there. Lots of people like Espen who's putting together lots of comparisons like the you've got the resin turrets against the kit turrets against the Fujimi turrets and they've all got their issues and the issues are all different. So worth having a look um, if, it, if accuracy is your thing. And there's also some beautiful builds going on. There's a guy on there who's built a, a beautiful base with all the... Um, the uh, keel and everything on the you know, the keel supports on the um, on the floor and and just lots and lots of information and builds and pictures and stuff and reviews and this that's where you know you, you kept hearing me talking about Kim with regard to the Yamato uh, Pontos set um, that's where I got to speak to Kim about the the set on there and view the images and he was putting up almost daily images of what he was working on making CAD, CAD models of the bits and pieces he was going to make. So um, really, really good. Great for input. Great for uh, information. Really, really good. We also good. see Peter over there from Oz Scale Modeling. So that's OZ Scale Modeling or OZ Scale Modeling, not AUS. And uh, yeah, he's he's got the um, Yamato, as, as you will probably know, he was one of the first on YouTube to review it. So um, what I've got today is a package that's come from Andrew, because I saw Andrew's ship on the Facebook page. And so where'd you get that stand from? Because I've seen them around. And he said, I make them. Well, all right, okay. So I said, can I buy one off you and, and review it for the channel? So he said, yep. And lo and behold, here it is. It turned up today. So um, I asked him for it about, I think it was about a six week lead time because he's so busy. Um, he sent me a message, please PayPal me this money. I PayPal'd him the money. And a few days later, here it is. So I'm hoping it's okay. Again, I'm doing my normal sort of thing about packaging and how things come. This box has unfortunately had a hell of a whack. It looks like it's been stuck under a door or something. So we may well be putting an insurance claim. You can see here there's two great big blue marks on the box. And you can see that the box has been crushed in those areas and the ends have been ripped open. So that end's not, but that end is. So if there's anything missing or anything damaged, I will be contacting Andrew and he can put in a claim against his postal service. So, um... It came DHL. Oh, just noticed the top's open as well. It came DHL, um, and then as soon as it got into the UK, Parcel Force picked it up and delivered it today. So uh, there we go. So let's get over to the bench and have a look, um, and then I'll talk about what we've got in here, how it all assembled. I'm not going to assemble it now because I'm not ready for it, and uh, we'll look at um, how it all goes together, look at the instructions tonight if there's any in there, and then uh, I'll tell you how you can go about ordering yourself one and how you can save a bit of money as well. So, um, Let's get to the bench. Okay, so just to show you better, just in case we do need a claim or anything, this video will be a good to show it. There it is, you can see the box has been all crushed and we've got this blue marking down here. It looks like it's been trapped under a pair of, under a gate or something and crushed and it's ripped the end of the box open here. You can see here, I haven't opened it. The tape is still all intact. Obviously I've pulled the address labels off and we can see on the ends the tape is still intact. So, right, let's get this box open. So let's have a look at what we've got. Um, Andrew is uh, Andrew 3D Model Space. Andrew 3D.net is the website. You will see him if you go and look on the Yamato page. I think he's one of the admin for that for the actual group. So here we've got some. Luckily, we've got some protective paper in the top, and it looks like we're okay as far as damage goes. So here we have some universal swinging stand plane holder extensions. So not exactly sure what they are, we'll have to go and have a look. But I think there you can um, actually mount aircraft on them as well. Um, and then we have in here, we have Universal Swinging Stand 200 Deck Fixture Extension. Je deck fixture. This is basically, if you want to see these things in use, go to the Norwegian Modeling Bench. It's a YouTube channel, go and have a look on there. He's got it all set up and all in use. He hasn't actually got these yet, he's, well, he might have them by now, but he's ordered them for his 200. He's got them for his 350th, so you can go and see them on there and see how they work. But this is all 3D printed, and apparently it's all quite strong and rigid and everything. And we can see we've got um, foam in there on the backing. 
So there's our universal swinging stand 200 deck fixture. And basically what that does, you've got a cradle the model sits in and these things clamp down on the deck. If I think of it, I'll put a picture up now. And then there's another one of those there. So we've got two of the plain ones. This here, not quite sure what that is. I think that's probably extensions to go between the legs. We'll have a look at that in a minute. And then we've got here quality product made in Germany, as all quality products are, or all products made in Germany are quality, aren't they? Um, so there we go. So Universal Swinging Stand 200 Trio VR 25 to 35 centimeters, whatever that means. So beautiful box, really, really well packaged. Oh yeah, very, very nice indeed. So here we have not for under under three years of use. So if you are under three and you're thinking about building the Yamato in 200 scale, you have to avoid this and build it without it because um, obviously you could you could obviously swallow some of this and it won't be very good for you. So it's uh, this product contains small parts, unassembled state, not for children under three. So this is the version two, March 16th, 2021. Video podcast with assembly instructions can be found in his YouTube channel. So there you go. So there's the YouTube channel. There, you can go and have a look at that. Okay, I'll put a link down below. Um, and he's also got a QR code to open the video podcast. I'm not sure if that'll work from the screen, but there you go. And uh, more information about my other products for scale modelers can be found in my Facebook group, Andrew 3D Model Space. And there you go, there's the QR code and the link to get in there. So all the information you could need. So there we are. Uh, I don't think there's anything on the back. Nope, just plain on the back. So in here we have the main parts of the of the cradle itself. So you can see here this is this is the actual cradle. These will slide out. Okay, and then the ship's hull will sit in here. I think there's a base that goes in there that it sits on. And then you squeeze these in on the side. They will move out, and you'll have all these screws and everything to adjust it. So you can clamp everything in place, and then basically with the model in there. So if you're working on the on the deck railing saying you want it in front of you like this rather than having to lean over and work you know down onto it it's very difficult to show you like this but if you want it sort of on the bench like this so it's facing you so you're you know the deck is at like 30 degrees or whatever you can tip it over like that so when that when it's on the bench you can see that basically if this is the bench you'll have the model facing you and it's going to hold it very securely I think there's going to be four of these, are there? Let's have a look. There's one, two. There's all our bolts and everything to, for pinching everything up. There's the stands I'm talking about. So these go in the centre here. I remember these from, um, from Kenneth's page. So that's going to sit on the bottom of the hull there. So once your hull is all painted and everything, once the paint's good and hard, you're not going to have any problems at all with this. So there we go. So that's that there, that's there, and then more of those there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we could have six of these. So there's two. And there's three. So I don't know why we've got six of those. Right, st still got a terrible cough, lads. So um, there we go. Then we've got these blocks here. Let's get the bubble wrap out of the way. So there's three of those, that's the main frames. And then we've got these blocks here, which are gonna go together. We've got some Allen bolts there. I'm guessing these are extensions or something. I'm not sure, but then have a look at the instructions. I don't know, so you can go and have a look as well, and we will see, and you can learn with me. But um, there we go, and then we've got, everything's all beautifully packaged and, and bagged up and everything. It's really, really thoughtfully packaged and beautifully made. Let's have a look at this printing. Um, it looks very nice, it looks very solid. And I'm, hoping, I'm not trying to break it, but it is very rigid. I have seen 3D printing before that is very, very soft, uh, very, sorry, very brittle, and just just breaks really easy where they have the, um, the interior is too open. So obviously you can have a hard exterior outer shell and the inside can be like a honeycomb. But, um, and these feel very, very rigid indeed. So nice. And also you can adjust the position of them, look, you can have them right back or you can have them out there. I'm guessing you would have them right back, why would you have them any other way? But I'm just wondering, you, you could probably get a 350th ship in there as well. So if you go for the 200, you should be able to get a 350 in there. And then you could have this in here, high up. And you could put your ship in there, maybe. I don't know, we'll have to see. 
Um, I don't know why I've got so many of these things. Maybe Andrew can tell me. Very strange. Right, so maybe they go with the plane holder or something. So there we are. So that's the um, that's the set as it comes in the box. Prices, I'm not going to go into because I can't remember and I don't know. I think, I think Andrew generously gave me some discount in return for doing a video on the channel. So that's supposed to have one under there, isn't it? But um, I just want to get this all put away properly. I can write pigs here this, aren't I? Get all this put away properly and then we can we can get out the other stuff and see what it's all about. So there we are, that can wrap around the bottom of there, just like so. So here we have all our screws with thumb wheels on them, which are really nice. You can see very nicely, very professionally done. So they can go down in there. And then we got, as I say, got all these vertical stands. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know why we've got six. Maybe he's mistakenly given me six. Maybe I should only have three. Maybe I should have six of those. I don't know. We shall see. Um, so that's all going to go into one side over there. So we'll put that over there out of the way. And then we've got these here. These are going to be the legs that go in between. So we just grab a knife and cut this tape. So these are going to be the legs that go in between those uprights. I don't want to put all this together because I've not set up for it yet. I need to get one of those big IKEA two meter long benches. But um, basically that's going to be your piece that goes between them. Just like that. So there we are. So that's um, that's nice so you can have them as far away as you want, far apart or as close, close together as you want. So that's like that. There's four of those. Don't know why there's... Oh, there's probably two, two per... Um, her up right so uh, that's very nice so that's going to keep them all together like so. so that can go to one side and then these here swinging stand deck fixer as I say if you go over to the Norwegian modeling bench you will see these actually in action on a 1 3 50th and basically what they are it's an extension that goes over the if you remember those legs you here. These vertical legs, please close, these vertical legs with the foam on them, okay, you take them out and then you'll slide them in, you'll have, you've got the foam in here to stick on them and everything, and then you'll slide them into there and then that will give you an extended upright to bring across so you can clamp down on the deck. And the reason I got these, I think they'll be really, really good for not only holding the deck in position so you can glue it and then move along and, and everything. I've only got two of these. Um, but also, if you're doing, say, what I was thinking, um, say you were putting your wooden deck down and you wanted to get it around the main superstructure but you don't want to fix the superstructure in place yet, you could actually put it in this jig, loosely lay the deck down, put these clamps on, hold the superstructure in place and then fit your wooden deck and it's all going to be held in place solid so that would be good. So uh, that's worth remembering. Um, and that's another, another deck fixture extension then. And then here we have the plane holder. Now, I'm not sure what this is. I don't even remember ordering it. He may have put these in for free because he knows I do a lot of aircraft. But I'm assuming when it says plane holder that means aeroplane. So it's probably some sort of thing that comes out so you can put a big aircraft on there. Oh, bloody cough. So, um, yeah, I'm assuming that's what they are. I'll go and have a look in the website in a minute and I'll put a picture up. Um, I've just noticed on here as well, not only does he have those beautiful little knurled, um, you know, the, the nuts, with the, the, the bolts with the hand wheel on them, but anything where there's going to be a bolt going through, like on here, there is, you've got a hole there where the bolt's going to go through, but on the back... There is a brass pressed in fitting, so you're not actually screwing into plastic, you're screwing into brass. So really, really nice. Very high quality stuff, very well made and um, very well executed. So 
I will very much look forward to using these. As I say, I'm not going to build it up now because I don't have anywhere to put it once it's built. So um, there we go. That's the one, Andrew3D.net. As I say, I'll put some pictures up. And I've probably put some pictures up through the video with editing. Um, and as I say, if you want to get this, go over to Norwegian Modeling Bench. That's Kenneth's channel where he does some fantastic ship modeling. He's done Titanic. He's currently working on Enterprise and 200th. He's done Graf's Bay. Um, he, he's brilliant. He's really, really good. He is a Norwegian guy, but his English is impeccable. So, you know, don't start thinking you've got a struggle to listen or whatever, or he's talking Norwegian. It's all in English. It's very, very good. Very enjoyable. Very good modeler. I love the channel. Some fantastic reviews. And he buys some very expensive stuff as well. Um, the beauty of going over to his channel, if you go over to his channel, there is a video on there called Stands for 1 200th and 1 350th Project. It was done about... Oh, I, I, about the 5th or 6th of November, I'm thinking, around about that time. Go and have a look at that. And on there, he gives you a code, I believe, and you can get in touch with andrew3d.net and get 10% discount. So not only does this get him subscribers, but also you can go over there and get in touch with him. And um, again, there's one of those brass inserts. Look. So basically, you tip the, the model over and you can have it in any one of those, those holes at any certain angle. So 10, 20, 30, there's, there's a hole at every angle. So go over to his channel, have a look, get yourself a 10% discount, and also you'll see how they're used and everything. I think it's one of those things, it's one of these things that you buy and think, how did I ever get away without this? But I know that myself, you know, sometimes you just want things to stay still, so you can, you know, rather than having it on the bench and you're trying to use two hands and it just keeps moving, especially with ships with the tiny CA, now you... You'll have your hands free, you'll have one hand on the on the part in the tweezers, one hand on your CA, bing, job done. So as I say, sorry for the coughing guys, go take a look at the Kenneth's channel, Norwegian Modeling Bench, I'll put a link down below. In fact, I'll link the video I talked about, go and get yourself 10% off, and don't forget to subscribe to Ken. Thanks for watching guys, see you all soon, bye for now.